Nice, eh? <laughs> <laughs> we probably got different memories. Well, we, no, we haven't. We were. I was with a friend of mine called Malcolm Blake, who I was with in the RAF for uh, three years. And incidentally, we still keep in touch. He's in America now, and he still comes to see us. And there's four or five other people we've kept in touch with. Anyway, that night I was driving in my car with Malcolm to meet somebody he was going to meet. What was she called? We had a nickname, but I better not no, mention no. that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, Malcolm saw this girl and I stopped and I had a girlfriend at the time but she wasn't with me and I saw Brenda with my colleagues um, uh, just in, with her friend, with um, Margaret, she was called, wasn't she? Mm. Anyway, we just talked a little bit and went for a ride in the car um, and then it wasn't until about a week after we met at a but I was with a, another girlfriend at the time, and we met at Westward Ho, didn't we? <laughs> we want to go into this. Well, no, okay. <laughs> but Brenda and I noticed each other, and, um, and the rest is history, really. Apart from one interesting incident, Brenda's mother and father were very strict, as was her gran. And in one of the second dance we went to at Westward Ho, I was, we were photographed sitting with my arm around her. And I probably had a bit to drink, as we always did in those days. And the next thing in the family, it was like all hell let loose, because the picture of us was put in a local shop window, and Brenda's grand saw it, and the children with red drums started rumbling. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, and you were in at, trouble. up talking to my mother about this picture. With, with this strange <laughs> what was chap, I doing? <laughs> with a strange chap with his arm around <laughs> And the fair was a, a massive event, wasn't oh, it? Oh yes, For much me. more than that than... That, that's on the site where the new Civic Centre is, because yes. that was all waste ground, all the mm. way up to the traffic lights and the way back to the station, it was just rubble out to the railway line, which was in existence then. Well, it was a massive thing, wasn't it? Boxing, boxing went on. There was a lovely exhibition there. Um, the biggest rat in the world and everybody trekked in and he wasn't telling a lie really because it was a, a rodent but it was a capybara from South America and it was a metre long and everybody came out with their mouths open and what a rat. <laughs> just, just um, I suppose people were always in a jovial mood so they were sort of accepted these things but it was so crowded and Well, the cattle market was where the public records office and library is now. And um, there was an abattoir there as well, I think. And we as children used to go and were fascinated at the thought that these poor cattle were there. And, uh, you know, a few minutes later, they were going to be rather gruesome, isn't it? Really herded in and we would hear the bang and no longer there. <laughs> 